Hello crappy cuties. Hope everyone is doing lovely. We are going to do a two-part uh, project today and today we are going to work on making some little embellishment clusters using the Tim Holtz transparent wings and if you guys haven't seen these they are awesome. They are acetate wings. They come in all different uh, sizes they have some single wings and they're just really cool. They're nice, really like delicate little pieces. And I could not figure out how in the world I was going to use them because they're so cool. But like, I just, I mean, I don't know how to use them other than, you know, using them as an embellishment to make a little cluster. So if you guys have any other ideas on how you would use these, please let me know because I'm not going to use them all today. But we are going to work on the cluster part, which is just like this part right here um, and then in the part two we will go ahead and add them to a pocket so that they can actually have a use um, of course you can use embellishment clusters in many different ways but I do want to show you how you can use them through we are also going to use another variety of items these are the Tim Holtz flowers and I really just liked how they looked in the middle here of this um, of the wings. You don't have to use these. That's just, you know, I just, when I came across this idea, I really liked them. I have some trim. I have um, lots of scrap items just kind of like all around me, which you can't see, but I have some cheesecloth, some muslin strips, which will be kind of like the base, and then just lots of um, scrap paper and ribbons and things like that. So let's go ahead and get it's going to be a really great time to use your scrap paper and you really don't need a lot. So I like to make an assembly line to make embellishments easy. So I have my cheesecloth and muslin. I have a pile with different papers and wallpapers, even just scraps of paper because that's all you really need. I have some scrap ribbon and trims along with this um, vine trim that I really like. We have the wings and we have the flowers. And if you're not gonna use something like the flowers, um, you really don't need anything in the middle there, but you can use things like buttons, you can use things like jewels, um, different embellishments. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna start with just a little strip of muslin here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's see, I'm just gonna take a little piece of, yeah, this is a really pretty print back here. Now, depending on how long you want yours to be, will determine how um, long like your, you make your base and all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wing. No, we'll actually, let's see here. Um, yeah, buttons would look really great with this. Um, gosh, I mean, really just go through your scraps, I would say, and that's kind of like how I, how I like making embellishments anyways. Now I was going to make this a no sew project because I know a lot of you appreciate that, but um, I do not have any staples and that's what I would use to put these together. Um, and since I don't have any staples, I am gonna use my sewing machine. It's really just the easiest, kind of quickest way for me to put embellishments together. So oh, this is a really cool trim. So I'll use a little bit of this. <laughs> You can hear Arlo in the background. She is with um, Alistair and Hans right now. And she is, she's telling them what to do, guys. I also have my Distress Oxide ink out um, in case I want to ink up the edges. Now, I tried using Distress Oxide ink on the wings because I thought it would be cool if we could add some color. Now, you probably can using alcohol ink, I would think. Um, but the Distress Oxide ink, it kind of shows up. I used a purple here, if you can see, so but not too much. So you could um, play around with different inks, definitely. Okay, now since we're gonna be putting this onto page, uh, book pages, we don't need it to be super sturdy, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together. This is kind of a lot of pieces here, so that's okay though, I like the layers. I have a lot of people ask what my settings are for my sewing machine. I have the tension at a two. I am using a crisscross stitch um, and the, I'm not sure if you call it length, I think, is it 2.5? And then I'm just using a regular needle, which I've used this entire time and I've never changed it out. I do clean it from time to time, but let's go ahead and I'm just gonna sew. It doesn't have to be straight. I just try to make sure I have all of the elements um, held in. Okay, so here is the first one. 
I'm going to go ahead and skip the flowers on this one because we're going to make a, you know, a few together. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of this paper again. No, actually, let's change it up. We really only need to make a few together, I think, for you guys to kind of get the point. For this one, though, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the cheesecloth. And I do like, um, I do like all of the loose threads to show. So I just kind of tear off a piece here. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and take some of this. This is some vintage wallpaper. And then it does kind of curl up, but it'll be fine again once we get everything sewn together. Um, Let's see, for this one, maybe I'll use a little bit of this purple lace. It's just kind of fun because you can change it up with just, you know, the little, each little element, and it's going to make it look different. Um, but when you have that assembly line, it just makes it really easy to make a bunch of these. I am going to have some in my shop as well. Um, and I don't usually sell embellishment things like this in my shop, so I guess let me know if you guys enjoy that. Um, okay, so we'll just go ahead and start with this and sew this together. Just try to hold that in place. We'll use the flowers on the next one. I don't want them all to have flowers just because it does add a lot of uh, dimension. Okay, so there we have that one. Go ahead and it's kind of this is kind of a cool trim that I have here in my stash. Sorry guys, that so I think we'll go ahead and use some of this. I like the colors here. And I'm still going to also use some cheesecloth. There are absolutely no rules on how many pieces and elements you use in your little embellishment clusters. Um, let's see here. I kind of just like to have a base idea for how I like the outcome because like then you can just put everything together and you have your little um, your little assembly line which just makes it super quick and easy for getting them set up. I'm just gonna put some scrap paper even though it's kind of boring but it just adds a little bit more texture and it kind of breaks apart the different elements and these wings you know they are they're obviously acetate so they're see-through and on camera it's definitely hard to really see them but once you put them on a project I think they're so cool and in person um, it's definitely obvious that they are there We will go ahead and add the flowers to this one. So I just kind of liked how that looked because I, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be moths or butterflies to be quite honest, but either way, they would probably have antennas, right? And so I think this kind of adds like a mixed media vibe to it. Um, and we could color the flowers if we wanted. So let's just try that with some Distress Oxide, but you could use some sprays for something more permanent. I'm just gonna kind of go like this. So they're still gonna be white but they'll just have that purple um, accent to them. There we go. So I just have a little cluster here of them. I never know how to use these flowers. I mean, you can use them on an album cover, journal covers, whatever, I know that, but I just don't usually reach for them, but there we go. So I'm just kind of looping this around and since this is wire, I'm just going to kind of take that extra, I think. I can hear um, Arlo and Allie. They must be bugging each other because she's like yelling at him. <laughs> so that's what I did is I kind of just looped the wire around and then I actually took it through the sewing machine. Uh-oh, it moved it. <laughs> that should be okay though. that moved it but that's okay 
I went ahead and fixed it really quick, but so I like that. I really like the flowers with it. Let's make maybe one more together. I see something in my little pile that I haven't used yet and I think I will use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take another piece of this. Scrap paper for my base again. But I see this little doily and I'm thinking this might look really cool behind it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna also use some of the cheesecloth maybe behind it like that. And we'll take maybe a medium sized one. So I like this, but I think I need something a little bit darker behind it to make that stand out a bit. So let's see, what do we have? We could use that again. I actually think I'm just gonna use a little bit more paper, but I'm going to use my Distress Oxide here to make it look a little bit darker. And I think this will help that stand out a bit more. So I guess another thing I was gonna say about the wings is they really take on whatever colors or kind of style you have on your project. And I really like that. They kind of also just blend in seamlessly. Um, and so they are going to be, I think, uh, a thing in your collection that you will be able to add into lots of projects. One more thing that you can add, or not one more thing, but one more idea, I guess, is to take um, some type of thread. Gold would work really good. You just wind it around your fingers like this to get a little cluster. And I just usually break it off. And you just have these little circle kind of messy area, and then you would put that behind. And I really like that, actually. So I'll probably start adding that, but gold always looks really nice. And then the last little idea I will, I will leave you guys with before we move on to step two is I'm going to show you one more thing that you can top them. With. So you can also add other die cuts kind of layered on top so that these are more of a background. You could use something really small like this, even though it's a butterfly, I think it still looks kind of cool. You could use something to where you just kind of see the wings behind it. You could add, you know, a die cut flower. That looks really cool, I think. Um, and if you have the Tim Holtz people, which I'm looking and I don't think I do, I actually saw one video where someone used a the Tim Holtz people right on top so the wings were in their background and I definitely don't have any, but that looked really cool. So that is another idea. And I'm actually really liking what it looks like to have a die cut right on top. So those are just some ideas for you guys. Hopefully if you have some, you will play with yours as well. Let me know how you use them. And I will see you in the next video, part two, where we will actually use these and you can see how I'm going to put them together in a, a finished project. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.